The Monerotopia Weekly News segment is sponsored by WizardSwap.io, a non-custodial cryptocurrency exchange. Hello, hey, Tony. Everybody. Hey, Tox. Man, how was uh, MoneroCon? MoneroCon was great. It was it was awesome. Uh, very, very busy trip, but it was it was great. Oh, um, such an amazing trip. Trip. Yeah, I'm so happy you got to go. Was it your first time in Portugal? Yeah, it was my first time in Europe, actually. Oh, wow. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you must have liked the food. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was very good. It was very good. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Did you did you ever go to Monero Con? No, no, I didn't get a chance. I just went to Monero Topia the first time. I see. Madrid, so, uh, yeah, I'm not really trying to go this year. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully you guys can see it. Okay. All right. So let's go over the news, guys. I have a couple of interesting uh, news for, for you. And then um, I have the YouTube chat on the right side. So if you have anything that you want me to... Uh, maybe cover some news or, you know, you want to chip in, um, I'll pay attention to that as well. Uh, the first thing is um, somebody posted that, and I'm pretty sure this happened in London. Um, so somebody, one second. So uh, somebody got physically robbed. Um, essentially, three guys came armed with machetes over to his um, residence, and then they forced him to hand over his crypto now. Um, this was posted in Monero, and uh, the title is The Beginning Stages of a Monero Bull Run. Now, there's a couple of implications. First of all, you shouldn't just tell everybody that you have crypto because stuff like this could happen, regardless of whether it's Monero and it's private or uh, something like uh, Bitcoin, whatever, which is transparent. So that can happen regardless. Uh, but then it could happen in some other way, which you make a payment. Um, using a transparent blockchain and then they find out how much money you have and they are going to find out where you live and you risk uh, getting robbed. So that's just another um, reason, a huge reason actually for you to use Monero and to have privacy. And whenever I talk to people, they'll just say that, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with people. What are they going to do by seeing my finance? Nothing's going to happen. Well, things like this can happen to you, um, unfortunately. So. Yeah, this is just another reason to use Monero, guys. Just to be safe and don't tell people how much. It, just don't tell people maybe in general that you have or just just be careful because you don't know what, what can happen. So um, then the next thing, this is really cool. I, I really like this. So uh, Tommy from Allark made a post. Essentially, uh, Monero for cash face to face. Um, so you'll be able to meet someone in person and conduct a face-to-face -face transaction of Monero, uh, which is awesome. You're just doing it in front of you. Um, and then the, when Olar goes a step further and can deliver cash. So they can also deliver cash to any supported cities um, or any, any place that you want. And the courier needs nothing but your address, time, and directions. So... Um, that is oh somebody said thanks body for the price report yeah thanks body again yeah to tony thanks for taking over man how, how long did uh have you been going now uh, i'm like two, two minutes now okay all right uh we got a lot going on over here and uh, we get engaged in conversations that uh, i know can't get pulled away from uh yeah i guess go ahead you you want to you're gonna wrap up with the news you're doing the yeah so i have a couple more yeah, you go yeah I'll, I'll let you do your thing and then we'll we'll Go back live over here. We have some people that want to jump on. Yeah, awesome. Man. Sounds good. All right, sweet. Awesome. Yeah, so like I said, guys, this is really, really cool from all ARC. Um, they can deliver cash to you or you can do face-to-face -face, uh, transactions. So, and uh, you don't risk to de-anonymize yourself in the process. It's really, really cool. Amazing. Um, then I just want to talk a little bit about, uh, take a little bit of a break and talk about Monero, uh, Copa Monero. So... Uh, you may know about it, uh, maybe not, but um, this is such an amazing project from uh, Monerotopia, Monerocon. It's really awesome to watch. <laughs> and we had the uh, K-Team, the Zeno Project team, all kinds of stuff. And um, it's really, really exciting. They all have Monero t-shirts, as you can see over here. Uh, team Libertad, uh, Team Huracan. 
and then some more pictures that I can show you guys. This one, <laughs> that's so cool. The painted Monero over there. And then people watching. Then a couple of videos of them playing over here. So uh, yeah, I think the first match was on June 8th. Um, it was really, really fun to watch. Um, and it doesn't, I think the, the finals are going to be in November, so we still have quite a bit to go. Um, so definitely watch and, and uh, show your support. Then we go here, second game, Team uh, Guarani and uh, Cristaldo. I think Cristaldo, yeah, I think that's how you say it. 4-2. Uh, so that was an intense match as well. And with sponsors, Basic Swap, a Fire, um, a Cake Wallet, you name it. And some more pictures. Yeah, so all in all, it's just amazing. So uh, if, you have, if you guys haven't watched it, please go ahead and watch it and um, uh, get some popcorn, beer, whatever you'd like, and, and, and enjoy. Um, yeah, it's a really awesome event. And uh, actually, since we're at it, uh, let's take a look a little bit about Porkfest video. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, so Porkfest is going on right now. Porkfest each year. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really an amazing event in which you can purchase a lot of stuff from Monero, gold, I think, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, just it's an amazing time to spend with like minded people. Um, <laughs> then MoneroCon happened not too long ago, and um, I wish I was there. That was a Monero Con. It's just such, such an amazing event with Monerotopia. Um, really, really fun times. And if you go to, let me show you right here, in case you missed the talks and you want to listen to them, if you want to listen to the audio version, you can. Uh, let me exit out of this one. Um, yeah, so if you go to audio.thegooglemonero.com <laughs> slash at podcast, you can find all the talks. Ryan on Monerica, a directory for Monero Circular Economy. Um, Andreas, the Monero Country. It was such an amazing event and a lot of good people there. Um, Matthias, Basic Swap, Luke. Um, so, guys, yeah, go ahead and, and check them out, listen to them, show your support. Um, and if you, have, if you haven't been this year, try to go next year. And especially this year, try to go to Monero Utopia. Um, they're just such, such good times and amazing events. Then I want to mention, let's see if these are all the same. Yeah, these are all the same. Okay, so uh, these are on Signal. This is pretty big. And um, I think we'll actually go... One second. Let me see where it is. Uh, we can start with this one. So, uh, Vera Jorov, Jorova, I think you pronounce her name. I'm not sure. But she said, let me clarify one thing about our draft law in the uh, EU to detect online child sexual abuse. Now, that sounds great. And obviously, we want to detect that and, and for it to, um, to not happen. That's extremely horrible. And reprehensible act, but um, they're using that as, as an excuse to break into your privacy and to mass scan your chats in the whole e European Union. Um, so they, what she said, the, the proposal is not breaking encryption. The proposal preserves privacy and any measures taken need to be in line with EU privacy laws, um, which, yeah, pretty much they're just there to be, um, and it's. It's funny to mention that um, we talked about it in previous episodes. How, for example, when people when they asked people, "Hey, do you like cash?" and people said, "Yeah, I like cash. It's private, and you know, um, we can do whatever we want. We're not restricted." And um, a large percentage, over seventy percent, I think, of the people, or ninety, I'm not sure, said that they want to keep cash. That they don't want to go full digital. And what are they doing now? We're restricting cash payments to $3,000, $6,000, $10,000 or whatever. And then the rest you need to use your card so that they can track you, of course. So these are just um, 
Tony, Tony, I'm 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 here with uh, two other people. How much more news we got? Um, just this is the last thing. So I'm gonna okay mention a couple things and then that's it. All right, sweet. Okay, yeah, guys. So um, uh, just quick thing in November, your part your parliament met a beacon for global tech policy. Uh, to essentially <laughs> exclude end-to-end -end encryption from mass surveillance. So, um, and they're, they're using all kind, kinds of rhetorical games, changing their terms, um, such as, let's see, if I can find it, if not, it's okay. Yeah, I'm from client side scanning to upload moderation. Um, just, what do we call it? The back door or front door is the same thing. Essentially, they want to scan your chats. Get them to their AI and just okay. um, be able to control you. And this is the same thing. Uh, Signal, I think she's the CEO of Signal, if I'm not mistaken, but she said they will not comply. It's very interesting. That's the last thing. Um, with mass surveillance man mandates in countries That's where it becomes true. law, and while the company would fight the laws, it would seize operations without a second part if there was no other choice, which is amazing. And then if you click on it, you have the Guardian article to read more into it. But that's it for the news, guys. Um, oh, somebody said one quick thing. The vote has been postponed since this week. Good. That's good. Um, yeah, guys. So make sure you like the, the video, share your support, share. And um, back to the dog at Porkfest.